you need to come this side, otherwise you're going to walk across it. Hi, good afternoon, one and all. Um, Karen and I here, we are from Northumberland Adult Learning Services, and we are going to talk to you about workforce development. We're part of Northumberland County Council, and we do um, a range of qualifications, which we are going to go into later on. All right? The first thing I'm going to tell you about is what we can deliver. All of these subjects, we deliver MVQs in various levels, business admin, customer service, leadership and management, health and social care, um, teaching and learning, and various things in construction. So those are all our MVQs. We also deal with the majority of those in apprenticeships, which Karen will be talking to you again later on about. All right. Future jobs funds. Quite a few people's eyes will light up on this one. The Future Jobs Fund is um, a new initiative, which is um, government, and they have funded 100,000 jobs. And you have to have been unemployed, aged between 18 to 24, and be on job seekers' allowance. So long as the person fits those strategies or their means, you... Um, have the opportunity of having 6,500 towards their wage by the end of the year. Which, paying on minimum wages, works out. The minimum wage for a 20 or under a 20-year-old is £4.92. 21-year-old plus is £5.93. The additional job has to be something additional. It's not one that you've already got in hand, it's something that you, that you have to make up and so that there is a vacancy for them. So just because somebody's left, you can't fill it in with somebody from jobs funds. Um, if you pay them the minimum wage, it works out on a 37 hour week, it costs you £1.54 per hour. And if it's over 25 hours per week, it works out at 93 pence an hour which is all it costs you, which isn't bad going for somebody who could have some experience for you. Our next one is the Flexible New Deal. This is somebody who's been unemployed for more than 12 months, um, and it does have no direct cost to an employer. Um, you don't have to pay them their wage, the government pay them their wage because they move from job seekers allowance into a training allowance. So their wages is, as far as they're concerned, their benefit is improved. Um, they are then screened for you by the um, awarding body and so that you actually get the right person for the right job. Now, just because people are on um, job seekers allowance doesn't mean to say that your skills are going to be low. Bear in mind that you've got quite a few people who have actually been made redundant. Your workforce has changed quite dramatically over the last 12 months. So you could actually have somebody who has already got the skills that you're looking for, and it's not going to be costing you something. Um, some of the things that we had um, informed on us was the people to to take into consideration with like your salespeople and marketing because there's quite a few people who are struggling or have actually been made redundant. Any other queries that you have, if you contact that website, they will give you more information and fill any gaps that we cannot. Don't worry about the, um, we've got slides for you with all the websites on them for you to hand out afterwards. I'm now going to pass you on, oh no I'm not, I've lied. I'm now going to talk about higher education. Your higher education, um, they are foundation degrees, which is done normally by universities. They are all work-based, and so that it's relevant for what you're doing, rather than it sort of like just being a degree that you don't need to do. And it is a combination of on-the-job on the stuff as well as academic. Fees. Um, the fees mill have to be covered. You're not going to get that free of charge, unlike the, the previous two that you are going to have to talk about um, sorting out your fees 
Um, and again, you need to contact UCAS or FDF. FDF does not actually stand for anything, it's just the name of the website. It isn't shortened for anything else. We then go on to further education, which um, again is either full-time or part-time, um, is um, vocational and is a, a, a way of which you can upskill your workforce from the tea lady up to your manager. We can actually help with, with the further education side under MVQs um, as we deliver those for most areas that we started off with on the slide. Um, and at this moment in time, it is, if it is your first level two or three MVQ, it's free of charge. But that will be running out shortly because the funding is going. Um, if you have to pay, we are one of the cheapest that you'll get, and that's two, two, £250 is all it costs for your MVQ. There's no added fees. That includes your exam fee and everything else, plus your training officer to come and vet you up. Um, the other things that we actually deal with in adult learning is skills for life, which is your English and your maths, as well as your um, MVQs. And we can also assist you with employability skills. I'm now going to pass you over to Karen. She's going to talk to you about apprenticeships. 